Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Commander review in the Magic the Gathering Legends set. Uh, today we are going to talk about Kai Takahashi, who is a legendary human cleric 2-2 uh, two -two that costs two generic, a white and a green. Uh, Kai has a very fun ability where you can tap it to prevent up to two damage to one target creature. Um, and let me, I'll read the, the correct oracle text just to clarify. Prevent the next two damage that would be dealt to target creature this turn. Um, yeah. There were no card rulings, so I better make sure I read the oracle text to make sure that that is correct. So it's prevent two damage to a target creature. Uh, card I thought synergized well with this is Selfless Squire. Um, oddly enough, Selfless Squire has an ability that cares about damage being prevented and is really the, like, one of the few slash only cards I found that actually cares about damage being prevented. Um, whenever damage that would be dealt to you is prevented, put that many plus one plus one counters on Selfless Squire. Um, <coughs> Unfortunately, you can't really synergize this with Kai Takahashi all that well um, because Kai only prevents damage that would be dealt to creatures. Um, but Selfless Squire does care about damage prevention and uh, is a great way for you to like prevent damage and then swing back and deal that damage back to your opponent. So, very interesting. I'd love, I would love to see if Wizards made more uh more of this archetype prevention or damage prevention matters deck uh or cards i think would be a very very interesting and unique uh direction for the meta to go and we, you could get a lot of fun stuff out of that it would be weird for sure um but i'd love to see if wizards would or could do that let me know what you guys think in the comments below as well um, as far as the decks that I'm putting it in, um, because it is a protecting card and it can prevent uh, damage being dealt to creatures, I actually have it in a white-green control deck. So it is full of cards that will limit your player's ability to search cards in their libraries, uh, limit their artifact uh, shenanigans from going off, and then obviously limit those pesky graveyard decks from doing their graveyard shenanigans. And uh, as you can see here, even Mind Sensor and Collector Oof both have two or less toughness. So any way to protect them from taking damage uh, when you inevitably inevitably become the threat uh, can you know give you a little bit of advantage in winning that game. Um, of course, like I was saying earlier, there's not really a prevent damage deck out there that I've ever heard of um, so it would be interesting to see if one exists obviously this would kind of fall under a fog deck um, but you could put things like dawn charm which is another fog ability uh, and then I've always loved the circle of protection cards so this would be a perfect deck to put all uh, 10 12 maybe 13 circle of protections there's like circle of protection for each color and then there's like a rune of protection for each color uh, so this would be the perfect deck to put all 10 plus of those cards in so i have no idea how you would win with this deck is the only problem so let me know in the comments below what you guys would do in this archetype if you were to build with these cards because um, i think it would be really interesting uh it'd be a a weird take on like a pillow fort deck almost but you're kind of restricting yourself uh, and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about that. <coughs> Lastly is a uh, cleric tribal. Um, there's a lot of love and support for clerics in white and black. Um, there's not a whole lot of love for this tribe in green but there are some really cool clerics in green. Uh, Battle Tide Alchemist can prevent damage based on the number of clerics you have. Uh, Oracle of Nectars can gain you a ton of life, and Luxodon Hierarch also can provide protection and life gain. So, whereas 
white-black cleric decks are about bleeding your opponents out uh, through like pinging effects and uh, bleeder effects. White-green cleric deck would be very heavy like life gain uh, deck. So it, it'd be like a weaker version of a traditional life gain deck because you're restricting yourself to only one tribe. But I think that could be a lot of fun. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, however, that will be it for Kai Takahashi. Uh, some unique deck ideas, some cool tribes. Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about like the fog meta or a damage prevention matters deck. Beyond that though, it is not a strong ability. You're only preventing up to two damage, which isn't a lot, and it can only be to a creature, and you have to tap Kai every time you do that. So. Not a strong ability, much better commanders to protect your board with. So bear that in mind, but I think you could have a lot of fun with this commander. More importantly, I think you could have a lot of fun with these deck ideas um, that I was able to think of or find because of the unique qualities of Kai Takahashi. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!